Hey guys, Louie here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your Go XLR with your next gen console and one computer. Let's get started. All right, guys. So there's a few things you're going to need to purchase. All items will be in the description of this video. First on the list is two ground loop noise isolators. You're going to need two of them. You're going to need a USB audio sound card for your voice chat. And you're going to need 3.5 millimeter cables. You're going to need four of them, male to male. And if you're in next gen, you're going to need an Astro Gaming HDMI adapter for your PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X. And as well, an optical cable. All right, guys. So this is the Go XLR cable routing express sheet that I made for you guys. Feel free to customize it or just look at it if that's all you need. It will be available in my Discord server. Link will be in the description of this video. All right, so let's get started. So the Go XLR mixer is the brain of this operation. However, we're going to start off through the headphones and then microphones. So my Astros A40 come in with a splitter cable that allows me to split the signal to headphone in and microphone out. So I, I take advantage of this and plug it into the mixer into microphone in and headphone out. So I'm able to hear everything that comes through the mixer through my Astros A40. And if I really want to use my Astros A40 microphone, I can as well. For my setup, I mainly use my XLR microphone it's good that this mixer allows you to switch whenever you want between your Astros A40 microphone or your XLR microphone. Keep in note that any uh, pair of headphones won't work with this as long as you're able to split the signal off. If you're just using your headphones to hear things only and you have an XLR microphone, you don't have to worry about this microphone and in, uh, input. All right, so let's get started with the voice chat and how you're going to be hearing your teammates and how they're going to be hearing you your ps5 comes in with a usb and in input where we're going to be plugging in the usb sound card this sound card is going to allow us to plug in a headphone out cable and a microphone in cable this is going to allow you to provide microphone audio to the sound card and be able to hear anything that comes out from this sound card. We will be configuring this that way when you go into your PS5, you're able to hear the voice chat through the sound card. Now, the reason why we need ground loops isolator through the headphone out and microphone in in both of these signals is because you don't wanna have any kind of static noise while you're streaming or recording any of this content. The ground loop isolator helps you eliminate any static noise. It helps provide a clean audio. Now, you're gonna need a 3.5 millimeter cable from the microphone in input to the ground loop isolator and then another cable from, from the other side of the ground loop isolator to the line out. And this is for the microphone. Now for the headphone out, you're going to need another 3.5 millimeter cable. And then the other side of the group loop isolator, you're going to need another 3.5 millimeter cable that goes from the ground loop isolator to the line in Go XLR mixer. Now you're going to need to connect your Go XLR mixer to your streaming PC or your gaming PC, the USB gives power and software connectivity with the PC so you're able to manipulate the mixer as you see fit. One of the critical components of this setup is having the Astros Gaming HDMI adapter because the PS5 and the Xbox Series X don't have an optical port. You're going to need a, an adapter that provides an optical out. The Astros Gaming HDMI adapter does that. The Astro Gaming HDMI adapter provides a HDMI input, an optical output, and the HDMI output. 
what you want to do is connect your HDMI output from your PS5 to the adapter onto the HDMI input. This allows for optical audio to come out and HDMI signal to come out separate. And that gets plugged in wherever you want, directly to your monitor, or if you have an Elgato, just plug it there. All right, so for the next step, go ahead and get it on your PS5. Make sure your sound card is connected. Your input has to be a USB headset, which is your sound card and your output as well. Make sure to put your output to headphones to chat audio. Make sure your switch output device automatically is turned on because if you don't have this on, your PlayStation 5 will automatically switch your output device to your microphone controller instead of your sound card. Go XLR is pretty easy. You want to make sure your microphone uh, input goes into your headphones, your line out and your chat mic. Line out is for your teammates in the game to hear you. Chat mic is for the stream to hear you. And then music input goes into headphones. That way you hear the music. Console to headphones and broadcast stream mix. That way you hearing it and the stream is hearing it. Line in. Want to make sure that's into your headphones and broadcast mix. That is for you to be able to hear your teammates and for the stream to be able to hear them. Obviously, these are optional and you can change them however you see fit. And system, you want to go to headphones. You know, that is going to be your default audio channel where you're going to be hearing everything from your computer. Your sampler, that can be put into your headphones, your chat mic, your line out. And what this is, is this is going to allow you to play any preset audio on your sampler to be heard so your teammates can hear it and the stream can hear it and yourself can hear it now in terms of the channels physically and my first channel i have the microphone for my second channel i have music and for my third i have line in which is my voice chat for my teammates and channel four is my console so that is your gameplay in the game what you hear now let's go over to ovs open up settings you go to audio and for desktop audio, you want to just make sure you have your music channel in and then your broadcast stream mix for your microphone audio. And for the next microphone audio, you're going to have to put a uh, chat mic. As you can see, I have the broadcast stream mix. So what I have here is my console gameplay audio streaming to that channel and the voice chat of my teammates is streaming to broadcast stream mix as well. My chat mic is my microphone. Now you want to go into mixer options in your windows settings. So you want to make sure whatever application you're using for music has the proper output device, which is the music channel for this case. If you enjoyed the content or found the video to be helpful, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm currently grinding to hit 600 subscribers at the moment. I'm also doing a 20 follow giveaway this week. So if you want to participate in that, just go ahead and click on my Twitch link. I'm there every day. So come check me out. My schedule is from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you, guys. Take care. Louis out.